Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I quickly want to share my latest uh, excitements I have of our devices today. So it's about hot desking and whiteboarding. So we have since a few weeks now the hot desking possibilities on our board pros. So basically you can come into a meeting room, log into the device and the device is personalized. So from my point of view, this is really exciting news and I quickly want to show you how this looks like in action. So first of all, I'm sitting in front of one of these Board Pro devices. So we have here also the web widgets available. So it can actually play you some instruction videos while you are not using the device, while it's just sitting there. And then we have the QR code shown here, which is um, actually popping out and tell you that you can personalize the device and going away if you uh, don't need it. So that's what I'm quickly showing now. I can just go ahead and scan the QR code shown. And then after a brief moment, it will allow me to log into the device. So I use my phone, which is already authenticated to basically scan this code. It will offer me a certain duration to have the device personalized. I say book room and then it will have my meetings coming up. One of the uh, additional things I wanted to show is our whiteboard capability. So basically I'm logged into this device now. I have my personal meetings here, but let's say I would like to start a new whiteboard and I can go ahead and use my whiteboard application on the device. I'll um, draw a little man here and make him smile. And often you think about, okay, I have created a whiteboard, what, but what do I do now with this whiteboard? We have a whiteboard.webex.com website. I can see now, okay, I have the whiteboard in here as well. And then I can go ahead and start editing this whiteboard I created here on the device here as well. So there we go. So I have the whiteboard now extended with some color of my own choice on another device. I can also share this whiteboard with additional people to collaborate with my whiteboard. So that was the whiteboard part. Basically what I'm trying to say is you don't have to think about how to save this whiteboard anywhere anymore. You can just like start creating the whiteboard. You are locked in with your personal user ID and then you can uh, don't have to worry about where to save it. I can just give it a name here, um, demo, so rename demo. Okay, there we go. Another thing what we can do with our devices is basically we can uh, also walk to the device and start uh, sharing content locally. So I have created a whiteboard here and then when I plug it in, it will show me the video which is playing here as well on the device. So the cool thing about this, I can like while the video is playing, I can go ahead and point and annotate to this video. So for example, I keep it playing and I say stop. And I want to point out how amazing this device is here in the background and I don't have to uh, use an application, an extra application, I just annotate to the screen here. Let's see how these options perform in third-party meeting applications. So for example, so let's say I join my first meeting. I'm joining here um, the Microsoft Teams meeting. Make sure that I'm muted. And by the way, uh, I have a colleague here with me who is helping me to uh, produce this video, Baby Yoda. So I'm in the meeting. I have been let in the meeting as well. And I go back to my whiteboard I created. I see it's coming up and I can also share the whiteboard in the meeting. So I'm sharing it in the Microsoft Teams meeting and it's also 
showing in the Microsoft Teams meeting. Let's say I would like to collaborate with somebody uh, on top. So um, I would like to have um, somebody from somewhere else uh, using the whiteboard, then I can do this as well. And locally, I can still like add content to this whiteboard. And as you can see, it is actually shared in a Microsoft Teams meeting where I joined via CVI or via VIMT. So that was the part for the Microsoft Teams meeting and whiteboarding that works well. Let's say stop sharing. We had this other option where we wanted to share content from a locally connected device. So let's see how this works. So we are having going back to this locally shared content. We share it again in the meeting, in the Microsoft Teams meeting. And again, we have the point and annotate option. I can play the video. It will play on the uh, Microsoft Teams receiver end as well. I can stop it. And I can also then point and annotate to, again, how cool this device is. I can also make it persistent. I'll point out that this is our new G2 whiteboard and it will show in the Microsoft Teams meeting as well. So with this device, we have a very cool collaboration option, not only in the WebEx world, but also in the Microsoft Teams world. So we had the Microsoft Teams meeting. We're going to have a look at how it works in a Zoom meeting. So Zoom meeting, we dial in via zip, dial in, pressing mute, and we wait for the host to let us in. There we go. So we have been let in by the host. We are in the meeting with my laptop, with my Zoom client. So let's see how whiteboarding works. So let's go to the whiteboard, say uh, share, and we keep drawing, uh, let's say for a change, a Zoom guy with some uh, big set on his face, whatever. It is also shared in the Zoom application. So the Zoom participants can see that as well. And if I would like to go and contribute as a third person to this, then I can do this as well. Let's say I uh, use blue hair, then I can also do this. And again, the participants in the meeting can see what I did here. Okay, say so stop sharing. And I would like to share what I have on my on my iPad here. So let's do this. I say um, share, then sharing call. Again, I have this video which is uh, playing. I have now the amazing pen shown here. And again, it's shown on the Zoom meeting as well. I say point and annotate. So I can go ahead and point out the Cisco logo on the back here. And it's also shown on the Zoom for the Zoom participants as well. We can also have a look at how it works in a Google Meet meeting. So there we go, Google Meet is showing, starting up. And after some time, I can let the person in, admit. There we go, the person is in the Zoom meeting and with Zoom. Today, when I say share, it still tells me about the link I can use to share content into the meeting. It's not directly shared today. Then let's have a look at the last of the uh, meeting platforms. That would be WebEx. So we join the WebEx meeting. We as well go on mute here. We are connected to the same laptop, which yeah doesn't show a great view of myself. Um, and let's have a look at us sharing into the call. So we have the content we would like to share in the call. We um, play it, it moves forward 
and we go ahead and say point and annotate and while it is playing we can actually again like point out certain things the other participants see it and not surprisingly they can also participate in the sharing so anyone can annotate that's what I can change it to and then other people can also annotate actively to the content let me quickly show that So the Cisco logo indeed is, has been accepted also from the other side as an amazing part of this device. So that's uh, multiple people can annotate at the same time while sharing. So we can continue and we have to make sure that we also clear out what we don't need. So that was the Cisco board pro, the second generation, uh, we stop sharing the locally shared content and go back to the whiteboard there we go and also on this one so we have shared now the whiteboard in Microsoft Teams Zoom it didn't work in Google and now we are sharing in Webex so there we expect it to work um, obviously as well so let's draw a blue little guy and make him smile and then i can go ahead and add something to this uh, person also from the laptop drawing with the mouse is a little bit more difficult with the laptop i can also of course do this on my oops i can also do this on my iPad there we go so it's easier to share it with the iPad so to summarize we uh, had a look at the hot desking on the device directly so I can personalize my board device now not only my desk devices but the board device I can start creating whiteboards I don't have to think about uh, how these whiteboards are stored because as soon as I start creating one it will actually appear in my whiteboard collection i can share it with other people they can contribute as well and i can uh, also do the same in meetings so not only in webex meetings but also in microsoft teams meetings in zoom meetings and hopefully soon in google meet meetings but not today so thank you very much for watching i hope it helped i hope i could share some of my excitement and I'm um, looking forward to see you in my next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.